All right, hello and welcome back to TCG Laugh. And if you have a hundred dollars or a little bit less, and you really want to spend it on Dusk Mountain, you don't want to spend 3,500 euros on Dusk Mountain like I did, should you get two bundles, which go for $40 each, or three pre-release packs, which go for $30 each? That's what we try to find out today. Let's get Bulbasaur here in the corner. And I will be opening all of these products and compare where we get more value from, where we get better cards, more cards, more valuable cards. And the interesting part is, in each bundle we have 9 booster packs, so that makes 18 booster packs for 2 bundles. So you pay $80 for 18 booster packs, and the pre-release packs have 6 booster packs, so 3 pre-release packs um, times 6 booster packs is also 18 booster packs. But since previous packs uh, kits go for thirty dollars each, you pay ninety dollars for three uh, for eighteen booster packs. However, pre-release packs have promo cards. Will these promo cards be worth the extra ten bucks or not? Let's just find it out. Open, oops, uh, open these ones. I'll start with the bundles and then go with the pre-release packs. I'm gonna do zigzagging. All right, I got some a mini poster here. You got a nice deck box. Obviously, with the bundles, you also get a nice deck box. These are really cool. I always use them a lot in my collection. We got a bigger, cooler spin down. I think this one looks way better than from the pre release kits. Get some punch outs. You get a basic land pack. You also get the promo card in this one, uh, in this in this bundle, Grievous Wound. But it's always gonna be Grievous Wound. It's always gonna be this version. So. Um, this one isn't worth that much, but you, you get a bonus card here. And some basic lands, which you're also not gonna get from pre-release packs. So we got Grievous Wound and Foil, and Full Art Basics, 5 and Foil, I think. Yes, 5 Foils, then some non-Full Art Basics Foils, and then 5 in non-Foil and some non-Foil Basics. All right, let's scan Grievous Wound. I think, I hope the scanner is not gonna <laughs> corrupt again. Um, I have my scanner here. All the prices are based on card market and Grievous Wound is 11 cents. So by the end of the video, we will know how much value is in either option. So let me go quickly for the play boosters. I'm only gonna scan Rares and Mythics. Where you watch dog? Oops, ah, that's not working. It's not working. I want to do it a little bit cooler. All right, we got Peer Past the Veil as the first rare and the Paranormal Showcase. This is worth nothing, unfortunately. 11 cents. And nothing else. So, play boosters. It should be the same for bundles and previous packs. Never noticed the difference between them. Um, they will have always at least one rare mythic, but sometimes up to four. Never happened to me though. All right, let's split up. Which is a nice card, should be a few bucks. Two bucks, eleven. All right. And as you can tell, the scanner only cares about cards above a dollar. Enduring Vitality in foil. And the second ray in this pack, and this foiling looks really cool. I like these glimmers. Nice contrast to the rest of the horror stuff. I'll skip comments and uncomments, go straight to the rares, else this video is gonna be a little bit too long. Valgos layer. If you want me to if you want to see a video where I pay a little bit more attention, comments and comments, check my first two videos. There I'll go a little bit slower through them. Alright, Toby Beastie Befriender and nothing else. 11 cents. Uh, these are the Cheap ones. These are the last two, these are the last five, of course, products that I still have from Games Island. So after I'm done with this, I'm gonna compile all the Games Island stuff, send it back to them, and then I can even make a little video, an overview of all the rare effects that I pulled from these thousand euros worth of project uh, products that Games Island sent me. Oh, we got the Jolly Balloon Man in the double exposure. I'm really curious why this one isn't worth that much. It's not that expensive, 77 cents, even though it seems to be quite popular. And not a weak card. 
All right, Thermophic Expanse, always on top there. I got Zimone, all questioning. Seven cents and nothing else. So the price did drop already quite a bit. I'm recording this on Wednesday, 25th September. And by the way, when this video is uploaded on Thursday, it's giveaway day, 19 cents. So the giveaway for you guys, if you watch this video when it's uploaded, is today, later in the evening. I'm gonna stream on YouTube and I will be giving away a collector booster box. Let's see if we can pull something here. Enduring Courage, 87 cents and Fear of Missing Out. Two bucks 88 and that's the first coin which is a nice segue to the giveaway so uh this by the way very horrible <laughs> result here we paid 40 dollars for the bundle and we pulled 10 bucks out of it so that's already pretty bad um that's unfortunate but uh, at least we have 10 bucks which means the first coin is here and you can claim all these coins from today's video by leaving a comment under this video you have time until the next video is uploaded to leave the comment in order to claim the coins and today's coins are not going to help you in today's giveaway. So I hope you managed to get some coins from previous videos. Um, because the more coins you have, the higher the chance is of winning something in my giveaway. I'm going to give away a collector booster box today. And in two weeks time, I will be giving away a second collector booster box plus a play booster box for any newcomers to this channel. So I'll be explaining a little bit in the end of the video how to opt into the giveaway. but um yeah claim as many coins as you can from each video uh, that at least hires your chance of winning something in the giveaway and you always keep your coins even if you don't win something in the giveaway you keep your coins for the next time and then you have more coins to win even uh, more likely etc so make sure to claim as many coins as possible and if you're new to this channel subscribe and claim some coins as well. If you only claim coins from Duskmorn videos, you will participate in the Play Booster Box giveaway. So that's for newcomers, for new people, so they have a chance of winning something because all, uh, all the OGs in this channel, they have so many coins that new people's chances are quite low. So that's why I make a separate giveaway for them with the Play Booster Box from my own cash, by the way. Give, um, the two collector booster boxes got sponsored to me by Games Island. They send them for free. So I'm giving it away to you guys, but um, should I do it separately? I'll do it separately. Let's do it like this. But the play booster box is for my own money that I'm giving away to newcomers. So I want to say a big thank you to Games Island for sending me two collector booster boxes. And if you would like to support me, the channel, and bigger giveaways in the future, check out the affiliate link in the description to Games Island. Uh, Games Island is the biggest magic gathering seller in Europe. They also do ship to the US. I don't know how much shipping that adds though, so you might check it out if you're from the US. Uh, but yeah, check the affiliate link, click it. If you want to buy some magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, anything, consider buying it over my link on Games Island. I'd really appreciate it. That way, I can pressure them to give me more swag for the next giveaways. 72 cents. And this time, there is no monster in the corner. If you watched my last video, you might uh, remember Lagamov's Onslaught. 32 cents. Alright. Very poor bundles here. I don't know if the price has already dropped that much. But you're not gonna make any value back. Overlord of the Hauntwoods. That's the first time I pulled the normal version because in my very first collector booster box opening I pulled the fractured foiling of this card. That was epic. So the normal version, how much is this one? $13. Alright. So that's at least something. What do I get here? The tail of Tamio and oh, a second rare there. Unfortunately I don't think either of those are worth anything. Peer past the veil, yep. 11 cents. Alright. A few more packs, then we move on to the previous packs. We got Huntwood Shrieker. Man, this bundle is already better. At least some mythics here. Oh, cool. Kaito art card with the signature there. Oops, I hope my. 
Keep those on too loud. All right, what do we got? Rip, Spawn Hunter. Six cents and nothing else, unfortunately. Aye, aye, aye. $27 total. Uh, enduring Courage. I did reboot the phone there's kind of runs on and I think the price is dropped maybe because the setting changed. So I will be going over each card separately after I'm done recording. And in the end of the video I will be back with a summary and my Google Sheet. So check that one out. Wait for that one. Then we have a little bit more accurate prices. I am thinking about not using the scanner in future videos. Because there's a few too many problems happening with it. Not with the scanner per se, with the app itself, but just with the workflow that I have to do with the scanner. Because the scanner itself re uh, works really smooth. Alright. And it's called Manabox, by the way, the app. And if you, in case you want to try it out, it's a very cool app. The developers did put some features for me specifically in it. So I'm really grateful to them. Um, but the scanner doesn't help us with these weak bundles. $27 for two bundles. I paid 80 bucks. Well, I didn't pay for it. The game silent sent it to me. But I did buy a bunch of bundles myself. So I hope those ones are going to be a little bit more lucky. But $80. If you pay $80 for these bundles and you only get 28 back, that's very poor. Let's see if the pre-release packs will do a little bit better. I don't know if I got unlucky or not. Let me move all of these cards. Add to collection. Bun. Honey bun like bundles. All right, and open some pre-release packs. So these pre-release packs you will get when you participate in a pre-release event. So you get this box here, you get six pre-release booster packs that you can use to build your own deck. And you get this little spin down. It's not as cool as the bigger ones. Oh, come focus. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. And yeah, let me put this bulk quickly in the bundle here so it doesn't fall over and you get a pre-release promo card and this one can be a bunch of different stuff it's not gonna be always the same like with the bundle and there's also an arena code in here that i will try to not show you guys because i'm sure games i would like to get these codes back intact and uh, we got a punch out we got the arena code on the other side here and we got a promo card, and the first promo card we got is Leyland of Mutation. Oh, what is going on here? Quality Assurance of Wizards striking again. We got a card with the... I don't know what it's called. But I did see already a few cards like these on Reddit. With these clips here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's scan it either way. Is it worth something? In foil. 45 cents. I don't think the scanner picks up the promo version, but I'm sure the promo version is not that much higher. I will mention it though in the in the Google Sheet summary. Alright, let's open the first six packs here and hope that these cards are not damaged. It seems like these are fine, at least. I got Vagabos Onslaught again. That wasn't worth anything, right? 38 cents and 32 cents and Cool art card. Man, this art is beautiful. Look at this. This looks really cool. What is this card? I never saw this. X Hume. I don't remember seeing this card. Alright. We got Logos Lair again. Also worth nothing. 89 cents. I hope we can get some more luck with these previous packs. Skip the rare. Again, the Jolly Balloon Man and nothing else. And the Jolly Balloon Man art card. In the end here. Cursed recording. In the paranormal frame. Looks cool, but I don't think worth anything. 10 cents. Two packs left. 
and there was absolutely no value in this previous pack. Fear of missing out. Duskmon started out so nice with value. What happened? What's happening here? Two dollars eighty-eight. At least something. I do think it might be the scanner, actually. But I will know for sure when I go over these cards separately. Split up again. So a few bucks here. Nothing special. All right. Another previous pack. And there can be different spin downs in here, different colored ones. Let's see if we can get something else here. We do, we get a red one this time. And the same stuff here. Let's check if we can get something valuable from these promo packs here. Come on. Regal code and the promo card for this one is Simone. Pretty weak cards always that I get from these promo packs. I wonder if that's on purpose. I'll be separating these piles a little bit. Right, we got Simone, worth nothing, unfortunately. Let's see what we get here. We get some rooms and Leyline of Hope. I don't think worth anything. 10 cents. And nothing else. All right. I think the question to the uh, uh, the answer to the question, what should you buy if you have 100 bucks for Duskmon, is keep your 100 bucks. Unstoppable Slasher. <laughs> keep your 100 bucks, or maybe you get yourself some. Nah, I don't think buying collector booster packs separately is worth anything. That's too expensive. But if you want to buy a collector booster box, it might be worth something. The collector booster boxes are actually. Quite solid in value, for me at least. Alright, we got two sellable cards there. Silent Hell Creeper. $1.56 and nothing else. Another Overlord of the Haunt Woods. That's nice. 13 bucks 91 and demonic council second rare 3 bucks 34 that was a good pack can't complain so we are after two collect uh, pre-release packs we are at the value of one <laughs> so opening two we can pay one more fear of lost teeth looks pretty nice there 16 cents this looks cool the foiling on this one. It's not a rare though. All right. That was the second pre-release pack kit. Not nothing that much better, except for the Overlord. Let's try our luck with the third one. All good comes in threes, right? Is that how you say it? And we got a blue spin down. All right. Come on, promo pack, give us something good, a good card. Oh, managed to open this one a bit more careful. Oh, I already saw the card, All right? Arena code and Undead Sprinter. I don't think worth anything either. I don't know if Wizards puts weak cards on purpose in these promo packs. Why don't, why don't we get open Overlord as the promo version, for example? Uh, Valgoff's Onslaught and nothing else. 32 cents. Leyline of Resonance, though only Leyline worth something at least. $1.95. Also quite low. I think the scanner might be a little bit low balling it. What? 10 bucks? No, 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 there was something. Something went wrong there. There's also not Push Mika Mons. There you go. I'll go off Slayer. I almost gave you one coin too many. That would be horrible. Well, we got a full art 
room card, walk in closet and forgotten cellar. And it's a mythic. And it's beautiful. Unfortunately, I did notice room cards. Uh, I don't really worth anything. Let's see if this one's different. $7.79. That's pretty cool. And we got the Roller Crusher Ride. Nice packs in the last few here. And not a Mythic. Most value is in the Mythics, it seems. And nothing else. All right. We got Rip Spawn Hunter and Double Exposure Showcase. Nine cents. And the last pack. Another Jolly Balloon Man. And nothing else. All right. Weak last pack, worth nothing. $45 total. So let me quickly move these cards as well to a collection here. Uh, plus, can I add one here? Yeah. Three. And now we have a comparison uh, between the two products. However, in these prices, every card below a dollar is also calculated in. But if we take these prices, we lost $45 with the bundles and $40 with the pre-release packs. <laughs> so if you want to buy some Duskmorn for 100 bucks and you want to not lose $5 more or less, maybe go with the pre-release kits. You will get the same amount of booster packs with some promo cards. However, you're not going to get these boxes here, which you might care about or not. Um, or just buy something else. Either way, the pre-release packs did technically win this one. Uh, however, I will not go over each card separately right now again. And maybe we have a different conclusion in the summary. Let's find out. All right, let's look at the Google Sheet. The Google Sheet, you can find this one in the description below as well. And here I have all the cards with the card market prices, the current ones, um, in euros. So 15 euros 66 for the first bundle that I opened. Very poor bundle, nothing really of much value in this one. Uh, a lot of cards below a dollar as well that I don't count to the total. 15 euros 66, not much. And euros and US dollars is kind of the same. So I did pay around 80 euros for, well, I didn't pay for these two bundles, but I have two bundles here as well. That I paid, you would have to pay 80 euros for two bundles in uh, here in Europe as well. The second bundle, only the Overlord of the Haunts would 16 euros for that one, and 21 euro six cents total, uh, making for both bundles 36 euros 72 cents. So if you pay 80 euros, you get 36 back. That's uh, 40 44 euros in the minus, I guess, in the red. So the bundles look kind of poor. Um, you can you can try selling the uh, the the basic lands, the full art basic lands in in packs. You might get a few euros back there. But um, yeah, let's go to the pre-release packs. First pre-release pack that I opened, 19 euros already. Nothing really special here. The promo card is 79 cents for the undead sprinter. Uh, also nothing special there. The arena code actually sells for two euros 48 on card market so that's pretty cool that's a little bit of an extra for the pre-release packs and yeah nothing else in here the second pre-release pack even poorer the promo card is leyline of mutation the one that was damaged a euro 38 i don't know how much if the damaging decreases the price or maybe even increases it i don't know either way uh also nothing special here a reader code two bucks 50 but this one was quite nice this actually went to the green. Um, if you pay 30 euros for this previous pack and you get 34 back, uh, back, you are in the green, mostly because of this overlord again. Simone, all questioning was the promo card, also nothing special, the arena code as well. But for all three pre-release packs, um, you will get 65 euros 69 back. So if you pay 90 euros, that's 25, right? 25 loss. So let's loss win the bundles. <laughs> so, it's actually a little bit better. So if you if you don't know what to buy, it seems like the previous kits are a little bit better. What's also interesting is um, if you combine all of these products, right, 
you have 18 booster packs from the two bundles, 18 booster packs from the three pre-release packs. If you combine all of them, you have 36 booster packs, which is exactly the same amount of booster packs that are in the play booster box. This play booster box goes for around 130, uh, 130 US dollars, 130 uh, euros, while the two bundles and the three previous packs, if you combine all of that, you would pay 170 euros slash dollars. So if you have a few uh, bucks more and you really want to buy some Duskmore play boosters, I recommend buying play booster boxes. Also, what I didn't mention in the beginning of the video, you pay five dollars per booster pack from the pre-release kits, while you pay only $4.40, something around that, per booster pack from the bundle. So the bundle is actually cheaper per, per booster pack, but it seems like the arena code and yeah, the promo cards didn't really do any work, but the arena code was a little bit more value in here. I don't know what else made the pre-release packs, maybe just luck win this time, but they did win this time. So congratulations to the pre-release packs for this video. Either way, what I also wanted to say today is the giveaway. So if you want to participate in the giveaway, go to the description and click the link. However, the link that you find under this video's description is already for the next giveaway. So not for the giveaway today, but for the one in two weeks. And I'm going to show you guys how to um, do that. So if you click the link in the description, and the Google form to the giveaway, you end up here. You can see second Dusk Morn giveaway. Collect the booster box plus play booster box on the 10th October. And what you have to do is enter your username here. PCG, love, opening, smile, for example. And if you have any questions, you can click any of these. But if you don't have any questions, you click this. Send this. I don't know if this is actually the accurate link. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think this is the accurate link. Yeah, this is still the old link. But either way, you can... Um, Copy the link, I will fix it right now after the video. You can copy this link and press send to send your username. And then you can go to that link and you can double check if you are participating. This is still from today's giveaway, so I'm not gonna pop up here, but these are all the people. Holy shit, so many, holy shit, 740 people? Oh my God. Oh God, that's gonna be, usually <laughs> I have like 300 people on the giveaways, but yeah, there's probably a bunch of duplicates and you know what? So um, that's how you participate in the giveaway. So make sure to claim the coins from this video as well for the next giveaway already. Try to collect as many coins as possible. The, higher, the, higher, the more coins, the higher the chance of winning something. And yeah, see you guys, I guess, in the evening today, a few hours later for the giveaway stream and then for a little recap video of the giveaway stream tomorrow. So peace out, guys. Like it's pride